Hi there, and welcome to Squirrel Bar. I'm Mike, and I'm going to introduce you to our games cocktails that we invented here in the bar. Uh, me and some friends at the MTG line, the Media Technology and Games, uh, worked at the bar for a few years now, and uh, we thought that it would be awesome to pay tribute to some of the cool games that we are playing every day. So we started up in February 2008 with uh, introducing the Super Mario bar, which became a huge success. And after that, I really got it kicking. I really liked to mix drinks and so on. And it really was fun to invent our own uh, original drinks. So I went on and created the uh, Final Fantasy, then the Portal, uh, Chrono Trigger, and in the end, um, the StarCraft theme bars, which all was really fun, and we got a lot of comments uh, around the world, uh, which were really just added to it that we wanted to do it more and more. So, um, uh, first of all, uh, like I said, I really got interested in cocktail uh, a few years ago, and one of the books that actually helped me to do that uh, and really explains uh, if you really want to like do the basic cocktails and so on is this one called the post guide I have version number seven you can easily get that uh, at any uh, Amazon for reasonable money and it really it has a lot of different cocktails with uh, uh, with the pictures and so on uh, and the really easy explains and a guide to what general you need in a home bar um, and secondly, um, like I said, we got a lot of fans and um, after we did the uh, Mario Bar, we got uh, an email from uh, a few uh, Japanese girls who had uh, a website uh, where they collected um, game cocktails from around the world. The website is actually here. Uh, Cocktail.daa.jp uh, Nana and uh, her friend, they are doing an awesome job uh, collecting um, uh, collecting a lot of game cocktails there. Um, maybe you should just zoom a little bit in, uh, just so you can get it. So again, it's cocktail.daa.jp. Um, of course, it's in Japanese, but uh, it's uh, nothing that... Uh, Google uh, Translator shouldn't handle it. Does it a reasonable job in doing that? And uh, they add a lot of fun comments also for uh, the drinks that they find. So uh, give it a uh, try. They're really good. Uh, but uh, as some of you may have noticed, also um, we did uh, uh, a lot of PR for our own uh, website with the recipes of the drinks. Um, Whenever we release a new one, um, it's at scrollbar.dk uh, scroll that you can find all the recipes. There's a little link called Theme Bar. Just go in there and you find all the ratios and so on. Also, um, for the American Standard, uh, we also have uh, uh, that. So there's no need to worry here. But it was really a lot of fun, uh, and uh, I really hope that you're also going to like the videos here. So, just a quick tutorial on what is important when you're making cocktails, so you are prepared for the next few videos. First of all, what you need to have is uh, some measurements bottle um, for uh, centiliters. Um, not uh, all of us can be like uh, Trump Cruise and cocktail and just uh, flying around with them and just counting uh, from the head on. So, um, a measuring bottle is really Alpha Omega or just uh, a shot glass, then you know it's around two centiliters in a normal shot glass. Um, then, of course, you need uh, some kind of shaker. This is a so-called uh, Boston shaker. Um, and a tip is, uh, you know when the cocktail is the right temperature, when they're starting to get a bit frosting out here. Uh, then you know that you have shaked enough. Then a bar spoon. This is uh, both good for layering, uh, layering drinks 
if uh, you need a shot to get layered, just passing it uh, down, or for stirring the drinks, if it's not getting shaked. Then, of course, a strainer, which is used with the with the cocktail shaker, so you are not getting ice cubes um, into the drinks uh, if you don't want to, especially with the cocktail shaped uh, drinks. You want uh, the glass to be chilled before and then just add the liquor and you do not want extra ice into it. And in the end, of course, uh, some kind of lime squeezer for the freshly pressed um, limes and oranges and so. And the most important thing uh, is a lot of ice. Uh, don't. Uh, it's safer to take more than less. As uh, if you take uh, just a little, the ice would uh, quickly get uh, uh, diluted with the alcohol, uh, with the drink, and uh, uh, it's also quicker to cool the drink with a lot of ice. So I'm looking really forward for the next few video clips to introduce you to uh, all the drinks that we made. So, um, see you then.